Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel National Engineering. Today we are going to learn reinforcement detailing of a beam. For this, we have taken the existing beam layout plan. Here, the depth of the beam is 17 inch and the width of the beam is 9 inch. The reinforcement details of the beam is shown in the display. Now, let's start. First, we draw the body of the beam. For this, draw vertical construction lines throughout all supports using the Excel command. It's like on video. After this, draw a horizontal line and trim its unnecessary parts and offset this line through a distance equal to the beam depth, which is 17 inch. Again, offset 25 inch below and upper to show the continuity of supports. Trim up unnecessary lines and add continuity signs in support. Now the body of beam is completed. To add grid line, change current layer to center line and enter axial command in command bar. Then choose B for vertical construction line and draw grid line and name the grid as shown. After this, we are going to draw the main reinforcement bar in the beam. For this, Change current layer to rebar, draw a single line with rebar layer and offset beam line to 1.5 inch inside, which is equal to the effective cover of the beam. And change the layer of offset rebar line by using the mass properties command and arrange the main bar as shown in the video. Now, provide the required development length and trim out the unnecessary length of rebar. Your development length is taken as 27 inch. Now, offset top rebar line 1 inch below to draw extra bar at supports and divide top beam line into three parts using divide command and choose number of segment equal to three and do a workout like here. To draw vertical stirrups make current layer into stirrups and draw vertical line crossing the main bar perpendicularly and project it outside equal to size of stirrups which is nearly 0.3 inch now array the vertical line Make sure number of row is 1, spacing between row is 4 inch for supports area and 6 inch for mid span. Arrange number of column by dragging grip on the display, like on video. Also draw for all beam portion. Now, write the reinforcement description by mention number of reinforcement bar, size of reinforcement bar at top and bottom, throughout all beam, its support and mid span. 
with respect to structural analysis report. Indicate section 118 near support of beam and section 228 mid span of beam. Also, name the beam B1 as shown. With the title to the drawing L section of beam B1 along 1122 and 33. Three. Active dimension layer is current layer and so distance between support using DAL command. Write description of vertical stirrups with size of bar and spacing of bar at mid and near support. Set wall 1 is a current layer and draw cross section of the beam through section 1 1. Providing without beam 9 inch, the height of beam without slab equal to 12 inch and slab thickness 5 inch. Also, show continuity sign on both end of slab as like on video. To draw stirrup, draw a rectangle of size 9 into 17 inch and offset through 1.5 which is equal to the cover of the beam. To draw main and additional bar, draw circle using circle command C. Then choose TTR 10, 10 radius option by entering T in command bar and select two adjacent line of rectangle as to tangent of circle and provide suitable radius of circle here i equal to 0.3 inch now solid has the circle use mirror and copy command for the position of reinforcement bar To make a smooth band of stirrups at corner, use fillet command and choose radius option and enter radius equal to radius of reinforcement circle which is 0.3 and fillet all corner. To draw hook of stirrups. Copy one main reinforcement bar and draw two lines equal to the length of hook and remove unnecessary parts, rotate and move to main reinforcement bar at corner.
Now, give the title of drawing as beam B1 at support at section 1 1. Use polyline command to draw arrow and right spacing and size of vertical stirrups at section 1 1. Also write the reinforcement description by mention number of reinforcement bar, size of reinforcement bar at top and bottom with respect to structural analysis report. Show size of beam using DAL command. Now copy section 811 and edit details as per structural analysis report to draw section 822 that is section 8 mid span.